Hi, this is Colleen from Keeping the Peace, and thank you for joining me for another episode of Colleen Answers Your Questions. Today our question comes in the down bar of episode 31 in this series, and Brian B. wants to know, what are the best sites for quick target acquisition? What we're going to attempt to do is I'm going to get behind the camera and show you what it looks like for a variety of different guns that I have here and basically this is a personal preference issue it depends on your eyes and what acquires quickly for you but I'll kinda of talk you through some of the different options that I have just here on my table out of my safe just you know kind of a handful of options and show you the difference in the sites here we go the first option that I'm going to show you is a standard white dot these are not night sights, they're just white dots. This is my Smith & Wesson M&P Shield in 9mm. Again, I'm reaching behind the camera, so I'm sorry if this looks a little strange. But basically, your white dots, this particular gun has a lot of space in the rear sight. Sometimes the front sight post fills up the rear sight. In this one, it does not. There's plenty of space, so some people think it acquires more quickly. So a very narrow front sight post. This is just standard white dots. Okay, so that is plain white dots with a narrow front sight post. The next option I'm going to show you is my Six Sire P938. Everything's clear for this video. And this has the same type of dots except they are tritium night sights and you're going to see that it's a little different. In the daytime Tritium just kind of disappears and you can barely even see that there are dots there. But I personally like a narrow front sight post. I don't like it when my front sight post fills up the entire thing back here or close to it. I like there to be a good amount of space. I think that acquires more quickly. And again, night sights are great for night, but in the day they pretty much disappear. And you're lining up the shape of your sights, not necessarily the dots. The next option I'm going to show you is on one of my Springfield EMPs. I changed out to Battle Sites by Harrison on this one so that I'd be able to um, rack my slide with a shoe or a corner of a table or a wall or a rock if I needed to because this particular gun comes with a completely different very sloped and smooth rear sight and I also chose to go with what people call straight eights. Now in the daytime you're not going to be able to see that at all because in the daytime, tritium dots disappear, but there's actually a dot right down here, and then there's a dot on the front sight, and you're lining up basically like a snowman. Let me put it over here on the white so that you can see it better. When I put it where I would actually probably shoot her, it kind of disappears, but we'll put it over here so you can see it better. Then we have... This is just a K-Frame Revolver Smith & Wesson, and it has that standard sloped blade in the front and a groove in the rear. I'm going to put it over here on something lighter colored. So that's what that looks like. I think revolver sights, standard revolver concealed carry type sights, are the most difficult because the, the front sight blade tends to fill up the groove almost completely, and it's rounded rather than squared off. And to me, that's a lot more difficult to acquire. I'm going to put it on something lighter because you just can't tell anything over there. There we go. Okay, so that gives you an idea of just a few options. And what acquires the most quickly for you is going to be your personal preference. So I recommend going to a gun store that has a range and that has the ability to rent a variety of different guns and I would look specifically for different types of sights. There are a million out there. I don't have a gun here that has 
like the True Glow, um, that type of sights that kind of glow in the day. I've shot a few guns that had it and really liked it, but I haven't switched any of mine out to that yet. Um, I even have a gun that has just blackout, no dots at all, and it's fine for me. I don't mind it at all. So it's really a personal preference. If I got to pick one above all the others, it would be white dots, and it would be a straight eight. Um, my straight eights are great if it's dark, but you know, even if it's dark, you're going to be using a flashlight to make sure that you can see what you're shooting at. So that's going to light up your sights. So really, I'm starting to wonder if tritium's as much as it's cracked up to be anyway. But I have tritium on a lot of my carry guns. So I hope that this information was helpful to you, not more confusing. And if you guys out there have a favorite type of sights and you think that it acquires most quickly for you, leave a comment below and let him know. Give him some more information of things that he can look for in trying to sort out what's best for him personally. Thanks for your question, and we'll see you guys in the next episode.